what's up guys um, so this weekend I was planning to do this install of the new Prinsu rack for the 22 and up uh, Chevy Silverado um, as you can see I don't have a Silverado I have a Sierra but pretty sure the cabs are the same so and this is a 2019 so I am going to attempt to put this rack onto that my Sierra today. Um, I was in the middle of the process and I figured, you know what, maybe I should start a, uh, get this on video. Because one, I do not have any instructions from Prinsu yet. So I'm just going to, you know, install it as I see fit. And I don't even know if it fits. So we'll see how that goes um, because there isn't any directions or instructions I figure I put this on video if anybody else wants to try it so first thing I'm doing right now um, I should have got this in the beginning but all right I have some vinyl on, the, on this roof right now so I did cut out a hole for the antenna and I did clean the roof already. Oops, kind of windy, but roof is clean. And I put some knifeless tape down here. Um, this will help me get a nice clean cut towards the end because I am just gonna go to the end of this roof, not over the spoiler. If you can see, a while back I put some silicone in this this groove this joint um, my truck did have that window leak a couple years ago um, it was a bulletin and they fixed it when I got it back I figured you know what maybe let's be extra safe this time around and put some silicone in this groove too and since then no leaks so that's where we're at here. Um, so I did take out these channels that was on my roof. Both sides. Um, I use this pry tool. And there's clips underneath. So if you're not careful, actually even if you are careful, you'll probably break some of these clips. Um, what I ended up doing was I kept some of that broken clips and if you can see here I just JB welded them back right so I think this one I broke the, the ends and this middle one I'm not too worried about the middle one I got other, the rest of them holding it in place anyway and this one, I broke the end and the middle. So, yeah, so you have to pry this off and clean under there. Um, I bought the Prinzel handles as well. Those are going on with the Baja Design lights, um, scene lights, or rock lights. If you don't want to use these lights, the pencil handles come with a block off plate too that you just screw right in there. Other than that, let's see. Um, this is kind of how I got the cutout for the antenna. I just taped around and put the vinyl on, figured out where I wanted it take the back side of the vinyl and cut the, cut out the hole as far as um, the racks now I am gonna use these or this channel guard I guess you can call it um, on the bottom side of the crossbars I don't think I'm gonna use or I'm, I don't think I'm gonna bolt anything 
on the bottom side so I'll just fill that with this 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 um, channel guard and you can see it does the rack does come with hardware I got a big bag of hardware um, I ended up buying my own from McMaster let's see McMaster and car that's what I got um, they are stainless steel so I'm gonna be swapping out the Prinsu hardware for stainless steel stuff I do think I bought some um, these washers somewhere else I can't remember where I bought these but these are lock washers uh, that's the product if I remember I'll put it in the link or not really a link but I'll put it in my description if I do remember so that's about it um, and the T channels the nuts that the Prince rack comes with I ended up painting them uh, just with some rust reformer so hopefully they don't rust out that's for the wind visor okay so I'll get the wrap going I probably won't film that a bunch of videos you can watch for that already so I'll wrap I'll get the wrap going once I finish. I'll get the rack assembled and we'll go from there. Alright, got the roof rack laid out on the ground. Uh, vinyl wrap was installed onto the truck already. And I installed the Baja scene lights into the handles, the Prince of Handles. So now I'm gonna work on putting that uh, channel guard onto the bottom of these and getting the rackets assembled. So if you notice on each crossbar, these are the bottom, uh, this is the bottom of all of them. I'm gonna Or I guess you can see at the top you got these little cutouts here that's for uh, t-channel nuts if you want to install accessories on the top side of the roof rack and the bottom has no cutouts so make sure you you guys um, align them how you want it yeah. so when I opened up the box, I noticed there was this piece here. <clears throat> and I couldn't figure out what it was. But when I pulled out this aluminum bar here, the only different colored one, um, that's what is going to bolt onto the windscreen. Right? So it's going to bolt on just like that. And I realized it was too short, so that's where this piece is going to come in. You can see those holes. It's going to line just like that. And put two bolts in here. Two screws. And you should be good to go as far as the windscreen so I'll get that assembled uh, one thing I realize is these small slots in the, um, the side part of the roof rack those are where these crossbars are gonna get mounted so I will leave off the ones that is gonna block these holes for now I believe it's only just this crossbar in here 
every other one won't be in the way. Um, so I'll leave that one off and I'll try and get this mounted onto the truck so I can target my holes for drilling. Okay. Okay, just another update. Um, I ran out of this channel guard. So I was able to get six of the crossbars um, the the bottoms so if you can see that was enough for six and that was two packs from Amazon so this last one I'm gonna need to order more so I'm probably gonna order a couple more packs um, just in case I decide I want to do the sides as well but those are easy to get to when the rack um, when the rack is installed, so I'm not too worried. <clears throat> uh, right now, working on the wind fairing. All right, so this aluminum bar right here. I got that other piece installed. So this piece is basically gonna sit onto this aluminum bar and I'm gonna use um, the quarter by quarter 20 by half inch fasteners that I bought separately with the lock nuts and washers to do that um, these T nuts I'm just gonna slide them all into position It'll align with these holes and I'll bolt them down. And another update on what I ordered separately. So <clears throat> I got some um, nylock nuts and oversized washers. If you look at my list here. That is number three and number five. So I bought those. <clears throat> I actually forgot why I bought them, but um, I remember I bought them for accessories to mount on on the top. So you don't have to worry about that if you do decide to order um, black stainless fasteners. Just need the quarter 20 by one inch. Those are gonna be for the side rails, the two per crossbar. And you're gonna need the lock washers and the regular washers. And you're gonna need two, four, six, Ten. You're gonna need ten quarter twenty by half inch, right? Um, I'll, I'll need to check the Prince kit because if you realize, actually, let me flip this over. So when this does mount to the to the, the side rail. I think I'm gonna need to use one of my or two of my lock nuts to mount it together. So just be aware of that. All right, got some of the crossbars mounted, and I got the wind deflector assembled. So this is basically what it looks like. Um, this bulb trim or whatever you call it easy you just you know push it right in and there's like these metal um, clips that that make up this piece part of the trim what I usually do is I'll, I'll stick a pliers in here and pull out the end piece or the last piece of the metal just to give it a so just just so the metal doesn't show 
at the end of this. So, if you don't know what I'm talking about, um, I'll use a pliers and then I'll pull out that metal piece that <clears throat> looks like this. So, that trim piece is just all these metal pieces all the way down. And if you try and cut it with a razor and it's not going through, it's probably because you're landing on the metal. So it's about one eighth or so thickness. So you just got to find that open space to where you can cut the trim flush. Just a little tip. Um, a little. Something extra that I'm gonna do is I noticed that the Prinsu stamp or the cutout um, I don't know if it makes much of a difference as far as wind but I found a piece of aluminum and I cut it to where I'm just gonna block that cutout out from the wind. Drops right in. I'm probably gonna use a double sided tape so I can pry it off if I have to. And I'm gonna use that red vinyl that I had lying around. So when I put it down, the cutout's gonna look red from the front side. So just a little extra thing that I'm going to do and then I'll mount that to the front and mock it up on the truck. Alright All right, guys, um, got the rack mocked up up there and I can confirm it fits the 2019 and up Sierras and I assume it, the 2019 and up Silverados as well. So, if you take a look, all right. So there is a gap. What I'm probably gonna do once I get everything mounted is lower the deflector to the lower hole. Should fill up that gap. And. This is what the back looks like with the shark fin. So there's some room. Um, I know earlier I said I use quarter 20 by half inch bolts for these. I ended up going with a longer bolt for these, the one inch. Um, for measurements, so I actually already drilled the first two, the, the most forward locations, just to kind of cinch everything down and center everything. So measurements wise, I took this corner and I went seven and five eighths to the middle of this bolt hole. Okay, so that's in inches. That's where I found that everything looked pretty good. So once again, from the outer edge of my window, measured seven and five eighths back, drilled a three eight size hole, and snugged everything down and centered the rack and I also put spacers that came with the rack only on the front and the rear for now um, I went with a scribe and I scribed the 
rest of the holes that I still have to drill. So that's the, my next step. I'm gonna unbolt the rack, move it out of the way and finish drilling. Okay, and as far as the hardware now. So, all right. so the way that the rack is joined to the roof is these rivet nuts here. Um, it, I thought it came with a tool, but I had to make my own. So what I did is I used two nuts that I had laying around. That's a longer or um, the OD of these nuts are bigger than the actual bolt because they're just they're just used as spacers. So if you never use one of these or a, a rivet nut tool, you just gotta f find something that's a bigger diameter than the bolt than than the bolt you're gonna use. And when you screw the rivet nut on, you wanna snug it down. I'm gonna put a bead of silicone right around this edge before you tap it into the hole. Once you got it into the hole, you use a wrench and a socket. So in my instance, I'm using an 11 sixteenths to hold this in place. And I'm using a, what size is this? 7 sixteenths for the bolt. And when you screw this down, this rivet nut ends up collapsing, which ends up pinching the, the metal in between and it gives you that mounting hole once you're done. I mean, once you screw this in, you'll feel the tension getting tighter until it was pretty snug or tight. And you can back this bolt out and everything is good to go from there. So yeah, that's my next step. Finish drilling the holes and putting the handles on and I'll pre-wire everything. Um, so still waiting on a um, a switch um, from uh, the Garmin power switch to arrive. I'm gonna use that to power all of my lights that's on my truck, all my aftermarket lights. All right. Okay, we got all the holes drilled and rivet nuts installed, and now I'm gonna cut these two or actually my plan is I'm gonna drill some holes into the channel guards um, if you notice I took out some of those clips because if you can see that's where these little uh, nipples or whatever you call them they some of them are in the way of where the mounts are gonna be so rather than cutting it Oops, wrong side. So rather than cutting it to length, like most people, if they know the footing is going to go there, they'll cut here and here. What I plan to do is I'm going to just make some holes, uh, three quarter holes. That's what size the spacer is for the the Prince rack and hopefully they align they line up so what I did to prepare to do that is I marked on this tape 
center line of these holes. That way when I put this over, I can grab my marker. And I can eyeball where that center line of the hole is. And that's where we're gonna. That's where I'm gonna drill. Okay. Once I finish that, I'm gonna install the handles on the rack and install the rack. All right. Uh, spent longer than I wanted to. Um, making my own wiring but basically took the Baja Designs wiring harness um, it, that came with the rock lights so the rock lights already have um, connections on them if you can see oh. so you got these connections um, I put some zip tie mounts on both sides and this is what they look like, the handles. So I ended up making my own harness because I'm not going to use the relay that comes with the kit. This connection is going to be the main power and ground. That's going to come up from my engine or from my Garmin Switch Pro or power switch. And it took me a while to get all the measurements pretty good. But there's four connections. Two here, and this is going to go across one of the crossbars and plug into the passenger side. Um, these are the cable tie mounts I use, but I don't like this white foam that it comes with, so I peeled them off and I put better tape, double sided tape on there. So I'll get this plugged in, wired up, and that rack is going on right after that. Alright All right, guys, um, I wanted to point something out. Um, I actually got an email from Prinsu and they do have instructions for the roof rack install. Which is kind of too late because I did it over the week weekend. But they did get back to me and emailed me the instructions so I printed it out um, as far as my install it's pretty much spot on with what they did other than this is um, important if you're following my video to try and install yours so as far as that windshield measurement to the first hole Prince who says to um, take this measurement 8 and 3 sixteenths so earlier in my video you, you, um, if you heard I said mines I measured mines at 7 and 5 eighths so as far as their instructions it's about 9 sixteenths more back from where I ended up drilling mines and if you need to know how 916 looks it's basically that gap within the jaws right here so I'm actually 916 more forward than what it calls out in the instructions but um, as far as what it looks like I don't think it makes that much of a, of a difference see so yeah um, 
take it for what it is and if I were you guys I would probably and if I had that instructions earlier I'd probably do it per those instructions yeah so there you go all right guys everything is installed and it turned out good um, got everything wired in lights are in I got some of the wiring going down this windshield and some in on this side in this KC wiring channel no gap and if you look in the back my Cascadia 4x4 panels I made some aluminum um, plates just because the Cascadia panels are a little more narrow than the actual width of my uh, roof rack so that's how I did the wiring and look inside of the channels kind of messy with the silicone but that's what I did with the channels I just made holes so each bracket is, is basically like that get up better there we go yeah so that's about it I'm about to go take a ride and get some drone footage all right nice Dave to do it too